AKF 460 is an innovative terminal for employee attendance and basic access control functions. It has two different user verifications such as face recognition and ID slash MF cards recognition. It has 1,500 face capacity and 2,000 card capacity with 100,000 logs capacity. KF460 can be connected via LAN or USB host. In this video, we will teach you the basic user guide for KF460. Go to User Management tab, input the name of the user, Set the user as normal user. Enroll the user's face and follow the voice prompt. Register the ID card to the device. Then set the user's password. You can also set the user's photo. Connect the LAN cable at the back of the KF460 device. Connect the LAN cable to the PC. To check the device IP address, go to the COM tab of the device. Go to IP address and set the IP address to 192.168.1.200. Then subnet mask should be 255.255.255.0, then click OK slash confirm. To configure the IP address connected to the PC, go to command prompt. Type in IP config. Go to Control Panel and navigate to Network and Sharing Center. The unidentified network could mean that the device is connected to the PC. Click the Ethernet. Go to Properties. Click the Ethernet Protocol version 4 then set the IP address to 192.168.1.200 then hit OK. Go back to command prompt then type in ping space IP address of the device then hit enter this data shows that the device is already connected to the PC. Log into your touch link time recorder software, go to devices tab. Click the add button. Then the dialog box will appear. Fill up the necessary fields such as terminal name, terminal code, serial number and key code. Set the communication to IP address and click OK once done. To download the logs from the KF460 device to the software, check the KF460 device. Click the download logs from device on the left corner, then hit OK. Once download is complete, go back to the main menu then click the Time Logs tab.
set the start date and the end date, then click which employee you would like to view the time logs, and then click the view button. Thank you very much for watching this KF460 video tutorial, if you have any video tutorial request just comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to see the latest product updates and product tutorial, my solutions, real people with real solutions.